Hello everybody, welcome once again to Geospatial Tutorial. Today we'll learn how to do georeferencing using ArcMap. How to do the same in Erdas Imagine has already been taught in another video in the same channel. Firstly open the software ArcMap and load two images. One image that is already georeferenced, the other one which is to be georeferenced. First let me select the image which is already georeferenced. This is basically a Landsat image which is in UTM projection. You can see the UTM values changing here as you move your cursor over the image. Next let me select the image that is to be georeferenced. I will select this JPEG image. When they open they do not sit on each other as they are into different coordinate system. Let me zoom to that image as well. This is also a soft Landsat image which has lot of stripes. How to distrib a Landsat image has already been taught in another video in the same tutorial. You can see the values here which is also negative basically to indicate that this is not a georeferenced image and the coordinate system is pixel coordinate system. Let's go back to the image that is already georeferenced and here is your georeferencing tool. If it is not available here you can right click here and select this tool. Okay, Let me put it back in its original place. Select the image that is to be georeferenced. So our image to be georeferenced is the first one. I have selected that and go to georeferencing drop down list. And here press the option fit to display. This step is basically done to put these two images on each other so that selecting a GCP will become an easy task. Now your basic work is over. Now you need to select GCPs. Let's try to find good GCPs. Let me go to this water body here which is more clear. It's free from clouds and let's select a point. We'll select this point and see whether the same point exists in the other image as well. Yes, this is the point that we have selected on the other image as well. So let's place our GCPs. This is the option to add control points. Press that. First click on one image. There is no order. You can uh, click on any image first and now go to the um, other image and click on the same location. Now you have added the first ground control point. Let's go back to the other image and try to find another GCP. Since this image has lot of cloud patch here it is better to select an area which is free from clouds. This area looks to be free from clouds. Let's just move to that area and try to find a GCP. Here is a lake that is existing in both the images. So this can form definitely a good GCP. L let's first decide on a GCP. Let's select this point over here. Does it exist on the other image as well? Yes, it does. This is the point. But however, since it is not clear, we'll go for this portion. Let me select another GCP. Put the first point here and go to the other image and put it back on the other one. Now you have added two control points. 
as you know minimum of three control points are required for georeferencing an image let's try to find another ground control point here is a water body seems like clear in both the images yes it is let's add another gcp to this location this seems to be a good gcp and it's almost since you have already added two points they would be very very close to each other so just put it here they are very close and however i will stop at three points if there is a requirement for higher accuracy you can always go for more number of gcps so that your georeferencing is very very accurate you can take up to 10 or 15 points as well but i'll stop here again go to this georeferencing option there you have an option called rectify though now two images virtually sitting on each other they the first image is not yet georeferenced until you rectify that click on rectify and select the place where you wish to save this georeferenced file I'll select any folder and click add just click save this will take some time in the meanwhile let me pause the video so that there you go your process is now complete and your referenced georeferenced image is saved in the location let's just try to find out where is that image here is the image with an img extension which is optional you can change while saving the file i have selected by default dot img format let me select that file now here is your file if you zoom to that layer and move your cursor over the image you see the image in utm coordinate system this is your referenced image and that's all in this tutorial thanks for watching